We're joined on the dais by SMU head coach Travis Mays and student athlete Mackenzie Adams. Coach, if you want to make an opening statement and then we'll take questions. Absolutely. Man, we gave a, a valid effort and we ran up against a really, really uh, tough USF basketball team. Uh, I think the game was decided probably in the last two minutes of the game. They were able to make a couple shots, make a couple plays, and we unfortunately didn't make the plays we should have made, and I think that was the difference in the game. But what a good game, huh? Questions? Travis, before you got to that point, it seemed maybe four or five minutes earlier, the energy was growing with you guys. You were seizing the moment, and then you probably had a couple empty possessions in there that started to turn it. I think what you saw about three to four minutes left in the game, you saw our will and, and our want to win the game. We absolutely wanted to win the game. We came to win the game. Uh, but throughout the process, there's a, there, there's a learning curve that you have to understand what it takes in order to come out on the side of victory. And I think that's where we learned, we learned something tonight. Uh, we understand we have to be the ones on the other end making the plays as opposed to allowing our opponents to make those plays. Yeah, Coach, how deflating was it when they made that one bank shot three at the, at the buzzer? Why would you bring that up? <laughs> no, it was, that was a backbreaker. It was one where we thought we was uh, in solid defensive position. We thought she threw up a prayer. Uh, she didn't call bank, at least I didn't hear it. Mm -mm. Uh, and when it went in, I could see the energy kind of go out of our players. Like, oh, no, how did she make that one? At that point, you got to try and get their energy back up to try to make a couple more plays. We designed a, a special situation play, uh, and unfortunately, they got the hand on, on, on the ball and, and got a, a partial block. And Mackenzie, can you talk to us about how you see this program now pointing in the right direction and trending upward? I think it says a lot just how we fought. Um, super hard loss. But um, I think just saying that we compete with them like we do, we fight so hard, we didn't do that last year at all. Um, like he said, we're playing against a really good program, and they're used to going to the NCAA tournament. They're used to winning games, and we just have to get to where we're used to finishing, um, finishing strong, working together. But I'm so proud of my team. I don't think we could have played any harder in that game. So I'm looking forward to the future. Coach, do you have any final thoughts on your first season and you know what, what, what we can look forward to from SMU in the future? I'm too emotional to talk about how I feel right now. My, my, no, I absolutely had a, uh, a fantastic first year as a head coach. I enjoyed coming to work every single day. Uh, I think I tried to share that with the young ladies every day with the energy that I brought. Uh, some days they thought I was crazy, but at the same time I enjoyed the ups, I enjoyed the downs. And I'm looking forward to, as Mackenzie just said, I'm looking forward to the future of this program and, and uh, what stands in front of us. And we want to continue to move forward. So excited is the definition that I would give. Any other questions? As much as you just bookmarked it, do you think you have any kind of shot that you could hear from the WNIT? Or? Well, uh, I, I didn't bookmark that it was the end. I'm just saying about my, my first season, I enjoyed every minute of it. I mean, we did everything we could do as a coaching staff and as a team. That's our resume. What you see is who we are. Uh, if it's good enough, the committee will, will allow us an opportunity to continue to play. I hope to continue to play because there's so much for us to learn. And I think right now, we're at the beginning, I think, four games into the end of this season before we came to the conference tournament, we started to hit our stride. We started to understand a whole lot more about the possession game. I mean, our effort was there. We started to understand uh, coaching and the adjustments we can make because we're relying on our base, which is our defense and our execution. So if that committee calls our number, you better believe the Mustang's gonna, gonna, gonna pony up and be ready to play. <laughs> Thank you. You're more than welcome. <clears throat>